they're copying you, but it will backfire. It will work against them. It's already working against them. They're stealing from you. They think that they will benefit from your work. They will benefit by just copying and pasting your work. Trying to be you. It would have been okay if it was just inspiration. But no. They are copying everything you do. They are stealing from you. And it's only a matter of time till everybody realizes that they are not authentic. That they are not the original. That they are a copycat. If they had only given you credit. Furthermore, how can they ever give you credit when they stole from you? What thief? What thief goes into the bank, steals money, then goes on TV and tells everybody I stole? They have something to hide. They are pretending to be something they are not. There is only one original and that is you. Like I said, it is okay to be inspired by others, but that is not what is happening. They are copying and pasting your work. Everything you do, they are creating a lookalike, a replica. Oh my goodness, the lengths these people will go to. They realize you are winning at what you're doing. Hmm? So they're thinking to themselves, I don't have to put in the work. I can just steal from her. I can just take from him. I just have to copy his work, her work, your work. I'm speaking to you, advancing one, and I will advance. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you know that they can never be you. No matter how hard they try, there is only one you and when they copy you when they steal from you it works against them everybody will realize that they had been lying all along and this happens a lot even in the quote unquote chosen ones community a lot of stealing is going on I'm telling you a lot of people are not speaking from the heart or they are not speaking as they are guided by source. They're saying, oh, God told me this. God told me that. But God told them that perhaps through somebody else because it's just copy and paste. I'm telling you, I have seen it. Here I am speaking to you right now. Somebody takes this exact thing and reads it out, claiming, <laughs> claiming that it is coming from them. It is coming from source, from God, from some deity. Mm -hmm. They won't give credit. And it's beyond credit. Because they don't have permission to do that. There is something called copyright. Imagine if someone writes a song and you or me, because I'm a music, I am a musician, an artist. Imagine if 
I could just take this song and say it is mine. You know? You cannot do that. Hmm? If you're covering a song, you give credit. And everybody knows it's not your song anyway. You will not get any royalties from this song. It belongs to the original artist or the songwriter or the producer, the copyright holder. And that is why copyright is so important. You own what you created. Let's say you wrote a song or a poem or an article, hmm? a speech, whatever it is, you created something. You drew something, you're an artist. You painted something. How fair is it for somebody to copy what you did, what you created, claim it as theirs? So many people want to be like you, advancing one. You dress a certain way, they want to dress that way. You look a certain way, they want to look like you. They want to do everything you do. They want to walk like you. They want to talk like you. They want to sound like you. They want to be you, but they cannot be you because there is only one you. Do you know how unique you are? Why don't they be themselves? They would go further if they were trying to be themselves, not you. I can hear some birds singing out there. The reason I'm not out there is it has been raining. And I'm not about to bring my camera out in the rain to get it destroyed. Who's going to buy me a camera when, it <laughs> when I mess it up, when it breaks up or breaks down? <laughs> I'm telling you, they're copying you but it backfires. It affects them. How does it affect them? They can only go so far. As they grow, more and more people get to realize that they've been stealing. How embarrassing. People are trying to build an audience here on YouTube by stealing. And it's not just titles. It was that I've been stolen. Entire, entire videos have been stolen where somebody's just repeating everything you said. Do you know how terrible this is? <laughs> imagine, imagine you're speaking and somebody's echoing everything you say. Have you played that game? Somebody says something, you repeat it. They say something else, you repeat it. They say something, you repeat it. And then it turns on you. Everything you say, they are now repeating it. I said they're trying to copy you, but it backfires. It would have been better if they were themselves. They can only go so far by trying to be you, by trying to copy you. It seems like that is the way to go, but it's not. They are looking at your success, your achievements, and they're thinking all I have to do is do what he does, do what she does, and I will win. But they are not seeing what goes on below the surface. There they are looking at the iceberg, hmm? It's there on the water. They are only seeing the top of it. But they are not seeing the majority of it, which is below the surface. They are there looking at the car. It's beautiful, but they have no idea what goes on under the hood. What goes on behind the scenes. I am making this video to come here and make this video there are certain things that do not appear on camera hmm? there are certain things that are done that that are done behind the scenes that you don't get to see 
certain things that I will never see, certain things that you are doing with your work because it's about you that people don't get to see. They see you doing it, you doing it, and they think that it's easy. A lot of people are there treating you with contempt, scorn, disdain. They think it's easy for you. They see you finding a measure of success. They don't know how hard you've toiled. They are not respecting you. They have no clue what is happening behind the scenes. Imagine you're there working so hard, putting in the work night and day, even when you're in your bed, even when you are in your bed, you're there thinking of what next. You work so hard and somebody just sticks from you, just copies and tries to be you. Some of them do it so blatantly it's unbelievable. With no shame, it's unbelievable. I am there to expose it. I am there to expose all of the theft that is going on. Those who are stealing from you, you do something, you see something else that looks just like it. You're there wondering, perhaps they were inspired too. Sometimes, that is what it is. It is not every time somebody creates something that looks like what you created that it means that they stole from you. It may very well be that the two of you got that same inspiration. As a songwriter, I can tell you that sometimes I would write a song on a certain topic, then somebody comes out with a song on that same topic. That is okay. That is all right. They perhaps got inspired as well. The information came from the same source. Okay, the most high source, infinite intelligence. They're channeling from the same source that you are channeling from. The downloads. They're downloading from that same source, so to speak. But let me tell you something, it will not be the same. It will not be so close. It won't be so clear. It won't be so blatant. And some of them won't even hide. They won't even hide. They're so confident. They've been doing it for so long. They have been copying you for so long that they no longer seem to have a conscience, that it doesn't bother them anymore. It's like a criminal. The first time he steals, he robs. My eye is watering a bit. <laughs> the first time he robs, he's scared, he's afraid. But then he keeps doing it. He keeps doing it over and over, and he's no longer afraid, and that is how they end up being caught. I said it's only a matter of time till they are caught, till they pay the price. They will end up copying the wrong person. They will end up stealing from the wrong person. Somebody will certainly let them have it. Somebody will certainly come back at them or for them. Somebody will take revenge. Somebody will report them. Hmm? There's a price to pay. They think they can continue to steal from you forever, to copy you forever. And there are no repercussions. Whatever you sow, you're going to reap the law of sowing and reaping. Let me tell you something. It is harvest time. And those who are stealing from you, those who are copying you, they have to pay the price. Would you believe it? And like I said, it is happening in this very community, so-called chosen ones, where people are stealing from people and pretending to be someone who is getting information directly from source. A lot of people realize, hey, 
there's money to be made on YouTube and they are making videos. Let me tell you something, everybody is free to make their video. I am happy to see others create videos. And it is okay if people get inspired by me. I get inspired by others as well, that is all right. You get inspired by others as well, that is all right. But some people go overboard. And when they go overboard, imagine you're on a cruise ship and you jump overboard. Well, that is it for you. There is a price to pay. Soon, everyone will realize that they are a mere copycat. Is that a way to build a brand? Hmm? That is not a good way to build a brand. Be you. There is only one you. I am here, being myself, talking to you from the bottom of my heart, as I am guided by source, by God, by infinite intelligence. What comes to me, I say to you, you have to be authentic. And I know if you're watching me, the advancing one that you are, you are authentic. Don't be afraid to do things how you know is best. Your way. Do it your way, like the song says. Hmm? Who was the artist? Who was the singer? My way. Is it Frank Sinatra? <laughs> I did it my way. Do it your way. Do it in a positive way. And that is how you will get recognized. That is how you will grow. That is how you will excel. Now, sometimes somebody will copy you. On one hand, you will feel flattered. Wow, I must be doing something great. Because let me tell you something. If what you were doing was rubbish, they wouldn't have copied you. If it wasn't good, they wouldn't have tried to be you. They wouldn't have stolen it. Have you ever seen a thief steal garbage? Well, sometimes they would steal garbage, but <laughs> something must be good. If you put that television outside and it's good, it looks good, they may take it. But if it's trash, like spoiled food, although I'm telling you, I am trying to think of cases like this, but people steal garbage. Yes, but it depends on who they are. It all backfires on them. It doesn't work in their favor. They may gain for a little while. On a small level, they will gain. Sometimes they will make money off it. Sometimes they will make money off your name, off what you do. But in the long run, it works against them. Keep being you. Keep doing you. There you are sometimes doubting yourself, thinking that you are not good enough. And everybody's copying you. There you are, your family, your friends. Sometimes, some of them are fake. They don't believe in you. They are cheating you with scorn, with contempt. They don't see your worth. But others are seeing your worth. Strangers are seeing your worth. They see your worth so much, they want to be you. They want to copy you. Meanwhile, the people who are close to you see you as nothing. Here's your confirmation. You have value to offer. You have something to offer. You are great. Remember your greatness. Remember your power. You have something to offer the world. It is so magnificent that somebody would start doing the exact thing that you're doing. And it is okay if they're doing what you're doing. But don't take everything you do and claim it as theirs. Don't take everything you say and claim it as theirs. They are wrong for that, like some people say. <laughs> that is wrong. They cannot do that. It doesn't benefit them. You can see it. 
that is an embarrassment. So they're embarrassing themselves. They are there. They can't feel good because they created something that is not really them. That is fake. They are there. They cannot be proud. They cannot re really be proud of their work because it is not authentic, it is not genuine. And they're thinking they're gonna get rich sometimes off your work. Hmm? And then you are so blessed, you get to see that it leads, not to their success, but to failure, hmm? to their demise. It is not that you want the worst for people, Hmm? But it is what it is. You get to see it. You get to see the end of it. Where they dug their own pit. Their own pit. Where they built their own trap. They messed up themselves. Trying to copy you. And they were only hurting themselves. Not everything is for everybody. You're doing one thing, it is not for them. They are trying to do it. You wear a certain thing, it fits you well. It doesn't fit them well. It doesn't fit them well. They are trying to look like you. No, it only works for you watching me. <laughs> As we're here, I'm there chilling in the veranda, in the balcony. Nature, rain, but I had to make a video, I had to speak to you, and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Did you, did you smash that like button? Have you clicked that like button? Click that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate you when you do that. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate you anyway, but even more. As we're here, I look forward to hearing what you have to say, to reading your comments. I'm sending you loads of positive energy. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. I'm saying thank you to those of you who have been supporting the channel, whether it is via Super Thanks or even PayPal. Thank you so much. I am not here to ask for anything, but I am here to express my gratitude. I am here to say thank you, thank you, thank you, like the man who thanked Jesus. How about that? Sending you love, sending you light. My name is Manchas. This is the Advancing Channel. One love, God bless, and all the best.